an update on the 69 M code fastback that we're disassembling and assessing the damage. <clears throat> um, you can see the fenders are off and you can see the damage to the uh, 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 shock towers a whole lot more. You come over here, you can see how bad they really are. The light's a lot better here. See all the rust in there? That's uh, That necessitates replacing this whole fender apron. They're kind of hard to get, but I've, I've ordered um, a set of them that actually tie into the uh, um, firewall, which I'm replacing also, because you can see the hole uh, in the firewall that somebody cut through to, uh, to actually work on the heater core, I guess. So the, the firewall can be replaced. These aprons can be replaced. It comes out with the uh, um, new shock towers with the uh, Cobra Jet bracing. I think that's pretty standard. Um, so we'll be doing that, replacing the bottom of the floor. And here totally, we got the floor in. Uh, it came in last week. Um, very big box. And we're going to replace the floor and we're going to replace the frame rails underneath the floor. The um, rocker panels are great, so we won't be messing with that. It's taking some, a lot of measurements. Uh, I'll probably get a measurement from here to the top of the windshield to get the uh, correct angle. Uh, and of course, the frame rails will have to be the proper distance from the back ones and the, radio, no, the transmission support will have to be the proper distance to the uh, motor mounts. Uh, I've disassembled the front part of the engine um, pulled the radiator out and um, pulled some minor stuff off the front of the engine. Pulled the H-pipe off the back. The H-pipe actually looks pretty good. Um, I may reuse it depending on how expensive they are. Um, and I pulled out the top loader, the bell housing, the clutch. Clutch looks good, but I'll be replacing it anyway and resurfacing the, uh, the flywheel. Uh, I'm not, I didn't get a chance to drive the car before I, um, I disassembled it. It wasn't running. So I do not know how uh, or what condition the top loader is in. I will pull the cover and see, see if some of the blocker rings look worn and see what the fluid looks like in it anyway. I'll drain the fluid and see what that looks like. Uh, I, I really don't want to go into the top loader unless I have to. It's been a few years since I've gone into one. Um, I hope it comes back if I have to. Anyway, that's basically where, we, where we're at right now. The cow, the cow drains up here look great, so there'll be no work up here. It'll be basically from here on down, um, and the and the uh, the rear floor. The uh, I got to pull the dash out next. The dash has a cover on it, um, so I'm sure the dash pad is gone. I disconnected the wiring uh, from the front of the car to the uh, the dash harness. We'll be pulling that pulling the dash out. Um, the dash pad is gone. It's got a cover on it. So that'll be that'll be uh, that'll be discarded, and then I'll disconnect everything from behind the dash, remove the dash. We're lucky this is a bolt in. Uh, Sixty nine was the first year they actually bolted one in. The other ones were welded in, and it's a little more a little more trouble to get out. Um, but we'll be unbolting this one and pulling it out, uh, and that's a good thing because the windshield's got to come out too because that's where the firewall. Uh, not the firewall, the uh, floor pan will come in. I'll have to bow it a little bit um, and it'll slide right in. Of course, I'll pull the, the rear quarter um, uh, covers off in the back and the back seat and stuff like that. It's amazing how much stuff you got to take out of a car to uh, t tear it apart. It actually looks pretty good. Most of them, most of them look, um, are, are beat and pitted up. This is a, this is a car light, so it's, it's probably the original one. Uh, but it was like it was driven around in town, so there wasn't a whole lot of speed involved except the, the, the while that she drove it uh, on the interstate going to see her husband in, in, the, uh, in, in the nursing home. Um, so not a lot of rock pits on it. I'll, I'll clean it up and see, see what it looks like. 
all the rest of the glass is uh, intact. It does have the, uh, the, the glue in, as a 69 does, the glue in glass. Um, but 3M makes a channel bond product that works real well with this now. So instead of hunting around and trying to find the bolt-in glass for the uh, 70s, I'll be going back with the uh, channel bond 3M product and putting the, the glass using the existing regulators. Other than that, uh, I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, I'm glad you came back. If you have any comments or thoughts, uh, uh, just pop me a note down below. Uh, I can always use suggestions in doing this. Uh, I, I, I worked extensively on a 67 Mustang uh, doing about the same thing, replacing the floor and the firewall and the, uh, the fender sides and stuff like that. Uh, this is a little more, um, little more invasive, so you kind of always doubt yourself. But, you know, that's why I'm doing it is to, to uh, have something to do. But anyway, I do appreciate you watching, and if you have any comments, let me know. Thank you. Benny. Benny. Yes. Yeah.